<laughs> all right boys and girls i am working on a new idea 5212 this is a pod from one of the, from the cutter bar if you're watching this video you probably already know how to get these apart so i'm not going to go over that um what i'm going to go over is basically how to um uh, get these new um gear sets put in and uh adjust for the uh the uh the correct uh, uh clearance on the uh or lash on the uh gears so basically uh this is a new one um and you can tell the new ones by the uh the hex there it goes all the way through um on the old ones they only went to like about here and then they would wear your shaft out and drive shaft so in order to get these in here you just have to have one of the bearing ends off and uh, put that in there and then put it in there now one thing i just want to go over real quick is that you kind of see some markings down here on the on the uh thing so basically this new gear has the shoulder on it so the old ones don't so um what i was told by the disc people that sold me the parts that sometimes you have to grind the casing for the uh new ones to fit in because they're a little bit bigger um as far as they're actually bigger on this part where my thumb is and they're a little bit beefier on uh, on having this backing on here and so this backing will rub or shoulder will rub on the case even when the proper bearing is in position um, this particular one I took apart this is my second time taking it apart um, but I think the bearings were bad so I got new bearings if you're gonna put new bearings on it's very simple to do just pop these off you can get under here the screwdriver if you need to take them off um, if you're replacing the whole gear setting just throw the whole thing away but um, so this goes in here like this and then um, I'll uh, get that in there and I'll come back and show you how to get the proper gear lash set okay I'm back um, so basically I got that bearing on the shaft and I put it in there and the same time basically flipping this thing on the side at the same time I put this bearing in and they don't go together too too uh, hard they should go in pretty easily if, if they're going in hard you got a burr or something like that so now I have it in there but um, I can barely turn this it takes a lot of effort this should be easy easy turning so what happened is this, this is still rubbing on the case so what you need to do the first thing you need to do is to slide it back in order to slide it back you're going to have to um, get in here with a socket um, this is a uh, this is an inch this is an inch and five sixteenths, which actually the outer diameter fits perfectly inside the hole and you're pushing on the uh, race. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I did that. I just barely tapped it and you can feel it move. Now this turns almost freely except for their brand new bearings. And that's a pretty good set. Now the next thing you got to do is um, put in the bearings on the gear set. Oh yeah, one other thing I want to tell you before you take these apart is always mark which side the gear is on. Because if you put it on this side and you put it all together, it's not going to be right in the machine. So I always mark with a hacksaw. A little marks sometimes you can use paint but sometimes you're washing this with brake clean or gasoline or whatever you're washing it with or a rag and it will wipe right off and you'll you'll be going back to the book to find out where where it goes so I always just mark it with a hacksaw or a or a, um, a file 
two marks is the gear side. Okay, just be consistent when you do that. All right, um, I'm gonna put in some things, some snap rings, and I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. Um, so basically, yeah, on this side you have, which is the opposite of the gear, is you have the snap ring, you have a wavy washer spacer, and then you have the uh, bearing bearing guard or dust guard. I don't know what it does, but sorry about that. And then on this side you have three spacers. Excuse me, you have the snap ring, three spacers, and then you have that bearing thing. Uh, that goes over the bearing okay and uh that should all go together nice and nice and nice and then once you get it all together you should be able to turn this thing just like it was before and it's uh perfect okay now we'll come back and uh get some spacers in there and uh look at that Okay, and back. Um, so basically what it is, is you have a new gear set here, a new gear set there, and no spacers, okay? So you put this on top of here. Make sure it's seats and square and everything. You can bolt it down if you want to, but you don't need to. But if you turn this back and forth and you can't turn it, then you gotta add some spacers, okay? So, and you got you actually have some gear stop but it doesn't doesn't actually turn smoothly it has to turn smoothly and it, you can't see in the video but you can feel it on my hands that it's not turning smoothly so i'm going to add some spaces and i'll be back okay i'm back um so it takes a little bit to figure out what exactly what shims you need so on this particular one um Uh, one thing I just want to go over real quick before I before I forget is that when you're putting this when you're putting this pod on here, um, mark it where it goes, and then every time you put on a pot put it on to take a measurement with the uh, with the uh, shims, make sure that you put it on exactly the same way every time. Because it might change if you put it on over here or over there or over there. So it might. I don't know if it will. It might. But just be consistent. So anyway, um, pulling that off. So on this particular one, I have a lot of spacers. I have probably six shims. And I believe they are... <clears throat> um, the thicker ones um i'm not positive on the shims here the guy gave me a whole bunch of them free but uh here's the part number on the smaller shims but you could probably maybe find the uh um the little thicker shims also with that part number but anyway so this particular one needed a whole bunch of shims i've had putting i've been putting these together they can be i've been taken apart with no shims but with the new with new gear box new gears you're going to have to add shims and i'm going to go over just the backlash here in the next uh next pause here hold on okay um got it back on there uh one tool that i find very useful in this job it'll save you uh, a lot a, pro, a lot of um a lot of uh things a lot of uh, driving issues and taking off stuff so one thing you'll need is a good socket and definitely get a six point don't use any crappy freaking don't use any crappy 12 points on these you'll round them off and then you'll be swearing so get a nice uh a six point um high quality socket something that's not gonna you can use an impact this is not an impact but um, this is actually a snap-on um, and then get yourself this uh, Milwaukee impact this has enough torque to take off the big bolts 
gentle enough to put on these tiny bolts and uh, powerful enough to get these off because these are locked tight on these these bolts here are locked tighted on so um yeah big nut on here all these bolts on here you know it's expensive piece of a tool but definitely definitely worth it you'll never regret buying that piece of equipment take it on trips with you take the leg nuts off or break some off one of the two anyway getting back to this thing so what i did is i put the shims in i put the bolts in and then i turn this make sure it goes all the way around nice and smooth shouldn't bind shouldn't shouldn't do anything the second thing you do and you turn it the other way make sure it's you know make sure your, your gear is turning and everything um the third thing you do is i just torque these i just put two in for now um and you want to check when you put all four in but uh um this particular impact will torque to about 20 foot pounds these are about 25 foot pounds i still gotta put grease in here so i'm not gonna put them on super tight or torque them yet so i'm gonna put grease in when i get it on the machine uh just because that's when i'm gonna have the grease so um which i don't know if i'm gonna be able to show it in the video here but i'm gonna try and be really quiet and see if you can hear it I got some music playing in the background, but I can hear it. You hear that little backlash? Now I can't do it with the holding the phone, but if you hold the gear down there and this turns like an eighth of an inch to a sixteenth of an inch, which is not very much, that should be enough backlash. It's kind of like it's kind of like it's loose. If you don't have any backlash, you need to add more shims to raise this up. Um, if you run it too tight, what happens is when it gets hot, um, it'll start wearing the gear excessively and getting that grease really hot in there, and it probably will explode. And I think that's what happens with some of these pods is that if you don't have enough grease in there or if you have the tolerances out of out of whack and you're running for a long time this gets probably gets really really hot and it kind of explode basically but you got to have it's really hard to measure you have to kind of feel it you know in my opinion this one here could probably use another shim it could be just a little bit more, but it isn't bad. I think I'm gonna add another shim just to be on the safe side. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what you need to do in order to get these pods set up correctly so that they last. I mean, you can put them together and jam them together and this turns, turns around, but it turns hard it's not going to last, you know. And you can kind of hear it. So, that's my uh that's my uh way of putting these pods together. Uh comments, questions, uh tools you might need. This this thing was replaced. These come out really easy. Um I did put them in with a press, but you don't need a press. You can just pound them in. Um, so yeah, and there's a bearing behind here too. I didn't replace any of those bearings. I don't think they really go bad because they're pretty simple, um, sealed and stuff. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll have to play with it a little bit when I have my, you can put your finger in here and hold it, or you can old, put an old piece of shaft in there and hold it. And when you get it on the machine, you might want to check it again. Just to make sure that it didn't move or, you know, you, you messed up with the position of the, of the uh, pod, that, uh, the, the bearing top here. 
But that's my video. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching.